What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Um, today is Rogue Tuesday, and if you watched the video on Sunday where I talk about Shining Legends, you know that I'm really hyped about this Shiny Rayquaza. It reminds me of Dragon Vault days, and I am, I love it. I love it. It's, it's such a cool attack. Uh, the only downside is you discard a bunch of energies. It has a low HP. Here, here it is. Beautiful. Shiny Rayquaza, 120 HP, Sky's Judge at 190, and Dragon Pulse 40. You discard two cards and you Dragon Pulse, like the old Dragon Vault Rayquaza. And Sky Judge does 190, but you discard three energies from this guy. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to play today. It's kind of like the old Rayquaza um, e Electric deck, but now we're playing with Magnezone. Magnezone lets you attach as many lightning energies from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Electric attached lightning from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon, so it's a little bit different. Eels is definitely better because you don't have to play a supporter card, get stuff out of your, out of your discard pile, then use Magnazone. Uh, you can just Eels into your bench Rayquaza. But yeah, that's the plan. We're going to Magnetic Circuit, attach a bunch of Lightning Energies to our Shiny Rayquaza, and take Knockouts with it. It does 190. Then you can use Dragon Pulse maybe for 40 more. Try to take Knockouts that way to keep pick up the Pokemon. Uh, there's no Choice Spin in here. It hits like 210. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13? Wait, does... Uh, 2, 3, actually... Hold on, hold on. No, it does 30. It does 30. Yeah, Choice Man does 30. What am I talking about right now? Choice Man is like Silver Wrangle. Yeah, it does 30 more, which hits for 220. I guess it could hit some good numbers, but the name, main number I always think about in my head is Guardy. And that doesn't knock out Guardy. Guardy has 230 HP, if I remember correctly. Guardy. Oh, no, nah, you can't type in. Oh, stop it. Stop, computer. If you type in Guardy, it has uh, 230 HP or 240 HP. Yeah, 230. So it actually doesn't take a knockout with Choice Band. So that's why we're not playing Choice Band. But we're just going to use Dragon Pulse or a Sky Judgment. Then clean it with Dragon Pulse. Uh, maybe use somebody else to take a knockout if we want to. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. It's pretty simple. You just Magma Zone, then Rayquaza, and you're, you're good. Uh, Ranguru for Instruct. Because we're going to play our hand down low. Because we're using Magma Zone to attach a bunch of energies. You got Pikachu EX as like a backup attacker maybe. You can go for that Overspark. Discard all light energy attached to Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energy cards you discarded. Could be like a late game attacker. Uh, maybe if you need to clean up like take down a Guardian one hit. You can attach five to it and knock it out that way. It's not too crazy. It could work. I don't know. Um, yeah. Pikachu is also cute. One of my favorite Pokemon. So why not throw him in the deck? And of course, three Lele for consistency. Uh, two field blower to get those tools off the field, mainly for Garber toxins. So that way you can turn your abilities back on. Uh, four rare candy, try to get that turn to Magnazone ASAP. One stretcher, one super rod. Of course, a split like we've seen a bunch of decks nowadays. Uh, four ultra ball to search Pokemon and two Bridget. Now, you really need to try to start Bridget in this deck because your bench is going to get kind of full. Um, like in most decks, they all get full, right? Um, you could cut the one bridge and maybe add a fourth fisherman. That's like kind of what, what I kind of want to do right now. Um, it's just I need, I just need so many energies in this deck. Uh, so yeah, maybe cut the bridge for a fisherman. I don't know. It's still in beta. It's still beta testing. Uh, one Clement, which is a card we really haven't seen that much anymore or at all. I don't think. Uh, but search deck for four lightning energy cards. Reveal them. Put them to your hand. Shelf your deck afterwards. It's just going to help you find those early lightning energies, uh, which is really nice, especially with Tapu Lele. Three Fishmen to put four energies back in your hand, which can help you power up a Rayquaza in one one swing. Like, you can fish her for, like, four energies, a fire, and three lightnings, and start taking knockouts, which is really nice. Uh, two Guzma. I don't know how good Guzma is either. Um, it's definitely still good. If you hit for 190, then you need to Guzma up somebody to, to take a knockout on it. So it's still in the deck, um, but it becomes weird because you need like Fisherman and Guzma at the same time. So that's impossible. If only we could play dual bringing Magnezone with this deck, then it could be really, really cool. Uh, but four and four Sycamore are the staples. Two Floatstone. Uh, the good thing about this deck is that like Magnemite has free retreat. Um, as long as you have the Magnemite on the bench, that's really nice. Uh, Orange Guru has a two retreat cost, so he's pretty... He needs a flow stone. Magnezo definitely needs a flow stone, so that's a good thing. Uh, Pikachu has a one retreat cost, and Tapu Lele has one retreat cost. So really, you know, flow stones are needed, but then you know, they're, they get you there some places. Uh, but four fire because you know Rayquaza needs a one fire energy for that Sky Judgment and ten lightning. Uh, we just want to make sure we draw into those lightning energies. We don't run out. We do run the three fishmen to recycle them. But even with that, you're going to use a lot of lightning energies to start knocking out stuff. Especially playing against the Mega and GX decks because you're not going to one-shot them. You have to two-shot them. And uh, we just got to get kind of lucky with our Dragon Pulses. But there we go, guys. There is the Magnezone Shining Rayquaza deck. 
The deck is still in like beta testing. I don't. It might be okay. It probably is not the greatest deck. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, one thing you could do is maybe add choice bands and Kui. That can help you hit some good numbers as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do with it. But guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be glad to listen to them. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to test out the shiny Rayquaza deck, and uh, yeah, we'll see if it's good or not. So let's see what happens. Alright, so we're against Tommy Roberts playing a Guard of War deck, and this is what I'm kind of scared of. Um, how does Smek, how does Shiny Rayquaza take down a Guard of War deck? Oh, baby, I don't, I don't know. Alright, so, <laughs> this hand is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, we got Double Rare Candy, Super Rod, and Start Lele. Alright, so press done. Man, hopefully we'll take a bridge here to make it better. Alright, Ringaroo. We'll put down the Ringaroo. We'll attach a Lightning to the active. And we'll play Sycamore, discarding two of our four rare candies. Alright, and um, <laughs> part of me just wants to scoop right here already. So put down Rayquaza, and we'll press done onto our opponent's turn. Luckily, they can't really attack us next turn. I'll be able to Lele for Bridget to get out two. Um... And there's a routes coming down. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to get out two Magnemites next turn. He gets his own Bridget in hand. Top decks the routes, has Bridget, doesn't have to use a Lele. Uh, gonna search for more routes here. And we're already in a an uphill battle. So we see, ooh, it's the Sylveon variant. He has a Flowstone Sphere Energy. We're gonna be in trouble. So see, Energy Evolution. Gonna get the Sylveon uh, GX in play. Does he have the Flowstone or not to retreat? Use that Magic Ribbon. No, he does not think the Lord. And we'll put a fighter on this guy. Use Lele. Yeah, we'll search for support a card. We'll grab our own Bridget. Uh, we do have two Magnemites in there. That's good. And only one more rare candy. So grab Bridget. We'll play the Bridget. We'll get two Magnes or two Magnemites. And that's all we can really do. We could go. Well, we can't even Dragon's Pulse because it's not a Lightning Energy. So we'll pass here. Oh, to our opponent's turn. Let's see what is going to happen. Now, I'm probably going to play in next turn, especially if he please. If he please, we definitely need to use. Yeah, we definitely need to do that route. Um, the deck doesn't play Choice Band either, so we actually can't even knock out the Sylveon, which is very unfortunate. Okay. Um, but we'll, we'll try to find a way to beat this deck. Um, he has taken 90 X knockouts if he does knock out our Shiny Rayquaza. There's a DC going to the active. We might see a treat to Sylveon. Uh, yeah, we're going to see a treat to Sylveon. We're going to see a, plea, a magical ribbon, not a plea, a magical ribbon to search his deck for three cards, put them into his hand, and uh, wonder what they will be. Now, hopefully we just have like, a rare candy and we're good to go. We can just start, like, maybe go for Sky's Judgment, do 190. Um, I definitely want to punish him, though. I want to use his N to get rid of the cards in his hand that he just got. There's another shiny Rayquaza. We'll play in here. Uh, going to put us down to six. He gets six as well. There's a field blower. Oh man, we missed the rare candy. We did this card two, and one is prized. So we will retreat into the uh, shiny Rayquaza. We'll put a lightning on the active. Do we go for the dragon's pulse? Sure, we'll go for dragon pulse here. We just gotta hope we don't get punished here. Uh, double lightning is not a bad two cards to discard. That is two good cards to discard. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's really good. Okay, because uh, now we can use fishman get the four back, which is really nice. We just need to find a rare candy. If we find a rare candy, we can start abusing Fishman. We can start, um, we can take a knockout next turn if we find a rare candy. Rare candy, Magnet Zone, Magnetic Circuit to the active. Uh, take a knockout with Sky's Judgment and be good to go. So, will that happen or not? There's an in. All right, this is what we needed. We needed a new hand of six. Do we find that rare candy, Magnet Zone, plus some energies? We find the Ultra Ball. We find a Magnet Zone, but no, we do not find a rare candy. But we do have an alt ball. There's a oh, there's his rare candy. All right, rare candy Gardevoir. Okay. Uh, at least Fairwind doesn't knock us out. So that's one good thing kind of going for us. Um, we can ultra ball discard a Quaza Lightning for a Magneton, and then still have three cards in hand. So that's kind of weird. We'll see a Seeker Spring. Where does he put the Seeker Spring act? He's gonna put on the bench Guardy. Okay, three six nine twelve. If he gets somehow Floatstone and retreat to this guy, he'll take a knockout. And struck from one, does he find a Floatstone? Does he find a Floatstone? Nope, just going to go for another, ma another Magical Ribbon and search for three new cards. Alright, can we find a way to get out 
our good old Magnazone this turn. I don't know. Hopefully we just top deck it and we're good to go. And we just wreck any Magnazone, use Fishman, get everything out. If not, we're going to be in trouble. All right. So we'll see, see Mana Griffin going to search. Uh, I don't know what he's going to grab. Maybe a Rare Candy, Guardi, and a Float Stone or something. Those are three good cards to get. And we top deck another Fishman. Great. It's not a card we really want to see right now. All right. So Ultra Ball, discard Fishman and, and Lightning. Okay. We'll grab a Magneton. So grab the Magneton. We'll put that guy down here. Hmm. Do we Ultra Ball discard Magnazone and Aquaza for nothing? No, that seems pretty silly. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. We can Fisherman for four back in our hand. Next turn, get down Magnazone and maybe swing with Lele or swing with something. Um. We can Dragon Pulse for another forty. Uh. See, I think I'm gonna. Man. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is just pass. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I don't want to Dragon Pulse and discard anything. Uh, my plan is next turn is to Fishman for four energies, put down Magnazone, uh, get a Fire Energy and three, and three Lightning, and try to hit the last Lightning off of, like, a... Just instruct for three, hit the Lightning, and start swinging to this Guardi. I imagine Guardi will come up this turn. If it does not, we will just Sky Judgment for the knockout. We got Magnazone in hand. We got Fishman. We're good to go. But let's see what does opponent do here. There's a Rare Candy into the other Gardevoir. Uh-oh. So, guard, another guard over coming out. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a Lele coming down. Will we see a Guzma, maybe? Uh, Guzma can bring up our Magneton to to take a knockout on it, which is not nice. And there's a Guzma. Um, right now, it doesn't take a knockout directly. He'll need one more energy. Going to bring up our Lele, which I'm actually fine with this play because he's only doing 3-6. Uh, three, six, nine. Okay, so there is a parallel city. Uh, puts us down to three bench, which is fine. We're gonna discard Lele and Magnemite. I'm actually okay with that play. Yeah, I'm actually fine with this. Um, uh, what would have been worse? What would have been a lot worse is if he retreated into the Sylveon. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. If he retreated into the Sylveon and actually used that Plea GX attack, that would have been terrible. Um, uh, because he. We keep, we could have picked up, we would have to pick up all Pokemon like Magneton and, or, I, mean, I mean, I guess we would have picked up Rayquaza and the Shiny Rayquaza, but there's Infinite Force uh, for 150, missing that knockout here on our turn. All right, so we get a Magnezone. We got a Field Blower. All right, so Field Blower, get rid of that Parallel City. That's a good top deck there. We'll put down Shiny Rayquaza. <clears throat> we'll use Fishman to put four uh, Lightning in our hand. Okay. So, we will use Magnetic Circuit. We'll put, let's see, one on the active. Come on. Okay, two more on the bench. So, one. It needs three, right? Yeah, it needs three. All right, so put another one there. There we go. And we'll touch another one to the other Shiner Quaza. And we'll use, or, we'll use Orn Guru to draw two cards. Let's see what do we find a whiff this Orn Guru. We find a Fire Energy. We can attach to Shiny Rayquaza. We can retreat in, back into the Rayquaza and use that Sky Judgment for 190 damage. All right, so there we go. Doing 190. Uh, we discard three Lightning Energies. Really don't need those. And there we go. All right, so suddenly did 190. He does have 40 HP left, which Dragon Pulse can knock it out next turn, which is really nice. And we're looking fine here. All right, so we're looking good all of a sudden. I was a little nervous. Um, st still kind of nervous, not going to lie to you. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're going somewhere. I don't know where we're going. We're down two Fishmen already, which is bad. We're down Super Rod, which is bad as well. Okay. But when we knock out this Gardevoir, he's not going to have too many energies in play. He has three cards in hand, so he can't use Orange Guru. He's got a full bench, so he can't Lele either. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, so we see Guzma going to bring up a Lele. He's going to take a knockout. Or does he have DCE? Okay, so there's a DCE. Uh, he's going to use that Pleage. Oh, no. He's going to use Pleage. Yikes. Alright, so uh, we're going to see Magnazone being shuffled in. We see attachment to the Guardi. Alright, well, 
There, okay, no, Fairy Wind for the... Actually, you don't go for Fairy Wind here? Alright, so going on a four price cards. He could have used uh, Plea GX, but he's not going to. Alright, so there we see a, a Bridget. I am just going to Sycamore, just discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Maybe should have this Rayquaza, and we don't have the knockout. Lovely. Mm, can we put our hand down low enough? I don't think so. So we'll have to Ultra Ball discarding um guzma and sycamore to find uh oh that's bad um yep that's bad are the magnemite surprised okay well guess we'll grab a shiny quaza we'll put down shiny quaza <laughs> Uh, put a lightning to the active. And... <laughs> Uh-oh. Well. I guess we'll pass. Because I really don't want a dragon spell. But now he can please GX and shuffle both Magnazone and the Aquaza in our deck. Alright. So let's see what our opponent decides to do here. Maybe we should have kept that Guzma. Maybe have Guzma up the Guardian next turn, take a knockout on it. But if you please GX, we won't be able to we won't be able to use it anyway. They receive a DC going to the bench. Guardy. Alright, so we might see a plea here. Uh no, gonna treat to a Guardy instead. My opponent is just not he just doesn't want to go for the good old plea GX. We see weakness. Great. Uh let's end up Shiny Quaza. On to our turn. We will Fishman. Uh, putting fire and these in our hand. Alright, so we will attach a fire to the bench. We will magnetic circuit. I'm uh, going to put two on the active, so one and two. There we go. Alright, put another one on the bench. And we'll go for another Sky's Judgment here. I just don't know how many more energies we have on our deck. All right, so Sky's Judgment for 190. Uh, let's see here. So three, six. Yeah, he's taking a knockout no matter what. Uh, we'll just discard the three lightning energies. Press done, and uh, that's our last fisherman too, if I remember correctly. But now we have two guys that are very, very heavily damaged that we can dragon pulse for the knockout. Uh, we just gotta get lucky. I don't know how many six, seven. There's another another guardy coming out. Great. Uh, what would be really even worse if he has an Acerola here? Acerola would be pretty bad for us, obviously. <sighs> just wonder why he hasn't been using that Plea GX. You think Plea GX would just like just destroy us, put Magnus on the deck? Um, yeah, I mean that's what I would do if I was him. But yeah, so there we see a Guzma. Gonna bring up the Kraza. Uh, gonna send up his Guardi. I uh, gotta bring up the one with the one lightning on it. That's the only way we could really take a knockout. We could Clement this turn uh, to guarantee a lightning energy. If there's any left in our deck, I think there has to be some, right? We see Infinite Force for the knockout doing 420. Going out of two prize cards. Alright, so send up their Quaza. Alright, so on our turn, we find a Field Blower. Alright, spit down Shunner Quaza. We'll use the Clement. Uh, we'll get two lightnings. And I don't know how we're to win the game now. We have no more energies really left in our deck. I right, split a lightning on the active. Um, we'll put a we'll, well magnetic circuit to the bench one. Okay, but we have no more energies left in our deck, so I don't know how this is gonna work. We'll instruct for one. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we see a Tapu Lele. We'll go for Dragon's Pulse for the knockout. Okay, doing forty. Discard a Flustone Stretcher. Stretch is pretty bad to discard. There's an N and a Magnemite. Thank you for joining the party, Magnemite. And uh, let's see who decides to sit up here. The only person who can really attack us is a Sylveon. Uh, maybe find a DCE. Finally use that plea attack if he wants to go that way. He is down four DCEs, so he actually can't attach a DC anymore. Um, but as long as he has a single energy, he can take a knockout with Gardevoir. He can just, like... Seek a spring and three, six, nine, hundred to twenty, taking a knockout and just be good to go. Um, so seek a spring, yep, that's a thing there. All right, put a lightning to the active. There's a choice ban going to the active. He's gonna go down to one prize card. I don't know how we're gonna take, I don't know how we're gonna do this, guys. 
so Sycamore discounting a bunch of stuff. Um, if we had more energies left in deck, we would still lose. Um, the weakness, uh, the un the unlucky unluckiness of us is very unfortunate. We don't have any more energies left in our deck, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just not a good time. We almost no, we, we didn't almost. I mean, what we could do is we can Guzma bring up the Guardi at least go down two prize cards. They receive a field blower, getting rid of his choice band. Now we can't use our own field blower, which actually matters because now we can we can instruct, but. I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's going to three six, take a knockout. Um, so he ultra balls, discards a Sylveon, I think, and something else. Yeah, it's pretty much game. Uh, what we're going to do is just Lele, bring up that Guardi, smack it for a knockout, and uh, discard two more cards out of our deck. They were, I don't know why he, I guess he's just digging for more energies or something. Maybe he doesn't know he has a knockout. All right, so Evan Divorce for the knockout, doing 180. Going down to one prize card, but what can we really do? We'll send up the uh, Ringaroo. On our turn, uh, okay, well, Magneton, Magneton, thank you for joining us. We'll put that down, put that down. Well, Lele, let's look in our deck. I really don't even think there's any energies in there. Uh, there's a Guzma, a One Fire, and a Pikachu if we want to go for that over Spark play. Um, yeah, so we're just going to Guzma, bring in the Guardi. Uh, we could maybe kind of stall, but I don't know how much, I don't know how this, if that's going to really work. It might work, though. Um, how many energies has he played? Three? Four, five, six. Um, how many flow stones has he played? So he hasn't played a single float stone, which is scary. But I think that's our only out right now. I'm gonna Guzma bring up his Rangaroo, send up our Lele, and pass. Now we will deck off before him, so the strategy is really not gonna work. But maybe he'll Sycamore and draw a bunch of cards and maybe whiff it and not realize he doesn't have any energies left. There's a Lele. Does he have the fourth Guzma? Uh, we just gotta play two or outs. So there's a Guzma. Oh, he does play four Guzma. Goodness gracious. My plan didn't even work. Uh, let's see Guzma bring up our Rayquaza. He'll take the knockout in the game. I guess we should have just Guzma the, in the Guardian. But I don't think he'd play four Guzmas in his Gardevoir deck. But we'll see another game with the Shiny Rayquaza deck here in a second. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at there. We leveled up our Dragon thingy. Uh, we can see his deck. Alright, so let's see here. Did he play any Flow Stones? He does not play any Flow Stones. Um, I think he had eight Fairy on the field. So if that last Guzma was prized, I don't know if we would have won. We had more cards and we had less cards in deck than he did. So he eventually probably would have won uh, by deck out if he didn't like Sycamore's hand away or do something crazy. But we'll see another game with Shiny Rayquaza here in a second. And hopefully we don't start Lele and have to Lele again for Bridget. All right, guys. Oh my goodness, on a game number two. Playing against another Guardi deck. All right, we're going to get a win against Guardi. I promise, guys. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Not when we lose a coin flip. That's not good. All right. All right. So they're going to go first. Uh, hopefully it's not the Sylveon variant. Hey, there we go. A little better start. We have double Rayquaza. Uh, so put both those guys down. Put down a ring room. We'll press done. And we'll start the party. It'd only get better if we Tudek Bridget. Like, if we Tudek Bridget, don't have to waste a bench spot for uh, Lele. Oh, it's a Xerneas break deck. Um, which is... It's interesting. Um, because they can't attack for a little while either. So they have to take a second while we get set up. Uh, yes, we'll drop a mulligan, uh, Sycamore, and double Xerneas. All right, so we're going to see another uh, terrible matchup because that fairy weakness is going to hurt us. But it's it's going to be a little bit different because we could one-shot him. But we're going to run into that situation again where we're going to run out of energies. Oh, man. All right, so there we see a top of Lele going to come down. And let's see what it gets with the wonder tag here. Turn one Lele with this deck. Maybe an N? I don't think anything else really what he needs. Uh, he will grab a Sycamore, actually. All right, that's five cards he's throwing away. Those could be really good. There's a DC going to the bench, which means he can't attack next turn with the Xerneas. There's a Guzma. Going to bring our Orn Guru, which is fine with me. Going to send a Xerneas, and I'm actually okay with this play. Um, we know he has a Sycamore hand. He wasted his... He kind of used his Lele, and we top deck our Super Odd. All right, so Flustone the active. Uh, we can Ultra Ball. Discard Magneton and in. Okay. I am going to grab a Lele for Bridget. Grab two Magnemites and be good to go. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that play. We'll grab the Lele. Um, yeah, put down Lele. Use Wonder Tag. Search for the card. We'll grab a Bridget. And with the Bridget, we'll grab two 
Uh, we got two Magnemites. Seems really good. Yeah, so Bridget. Two Magnemites. Putting them down. Uh, do we super on? I think I'm just going to Orin Guru. Trying to instruct. Hit an energy for our turn. Maybe something. There's an N. And... I'm going to treat to Magnemite and pass. Uh, Magnemite does have that free treat. Thanks to the sparkling induction. Alright, so into our opponent's turn. We might see a Gamancy this turn. A Geo, good old Geomancy. We see an Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hand. Discards a Field Blower and a Sycamore. Probably grabbing a Xerneas Break. Or his own Rangaroo. Alright, so Rangaroo making an appearance in both decks today. Uh, there's a Rangaroo coming down. We'll see the Xerneas Break come online. We'll probably see another Sycamore in his hand. Uh, going to Instruct first. Now, the Instruct for two could be really bad if he hits two good cards. Fingers across. Choice man to the bench. Xerneas Break. Don't care too much about that. And a second more discarding a Guzma. So now he's down two Guzmas. Pretty good. Um, less he can hit our Lele's, the better. Another Xerneas. Fairage in the active. We'll see Jumancy. Max Elixir to the bench. And now he's going to have plenty of energies. Another Max Elixir. Oh, goodness. Pokemon. Onto the Rangaroo. All right. So right now... Uh, uh, live stream is doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 times to 200 to knock out our mega, our shiny Rayquaza. So, we'll see some fair to be attached. On to our turn. What do we find? We find a Fisherman. So, I'm definitely just going to end here. I don't want to second more discard the Fisherman. I know we're, you know, putting the Rangaroo back in the deck. Um, we're putting those three cards back in the deck. But, we, okay, we get Rescue Shash. That's actually really good. So, put a Pokemon or discard pot in our hand. Grab the Magneton. This does get rid of our free retreat, but he's going to take a knockout this turn regardless. So put down the Magneton. We'll put a Fire Energy on a Shiny Rayquaza, and we'll just pass into our opponent's turn. Like I said, if he takes a knockout, he's taking a knockout either way. Um, he just needs a Fire Energy and a Zerny Sprague. Not the hard to hit with the hand he has right now. We see a Fairy Guard come down, giving that free retreat for a Xerneas. We see another Lele coming down, and will this Lele grab a Geo Man uh, Guzma? Uh, let's see here. It does grab a Sycamore. Alright, so he's digging for more Fairy Energies. Okay. Alright, Fairy Energies to the active. He could have put the Fairy Energy on the bench because if he, if he whiffs the break, he actually can't attack us this turn. There's a Max Looks. Alright, so if he hits a Max Looks, he can take a knockout this turn. Okay, gonna put in this. Okay, okay. Maybe he already has a break in hand. I don't know what's going on. There's a choice man to the bench, Xerneas. Um, I don't know what's going on, really. I guess maybe he just wants to do another Geomancy and just try to do max amount of damage with his Xerneas break. And yeah, we're going to see another Geomancy here, which is fine with me. This gives us another opportunity uh, to try to take a, the first price card, which is definitely really relevant in this matchup. So see if Energy wants to do uh, Lele. And another energy going to the Xerneas Break. Alright, so on to our turn, we get a Lightning Energy. So put down that Magnezone. Uh, unfortunately, now we don't have the free treat. Uh, okay, thought, was gonna take, thought he was going to take a knockout. We'll Field Blower, and I'm actually going to get rid of the... Uh, that and this. Getting rid of that free treat. If I can't have free treat, you can't have free treat either. Well, Magnetic Circuit. Um, put a Lightning on the active. Lightning on the bench. Okay, we will instruct for two. We'll see what do we find here. We find a Rayquaza and a Fire to do attach a Fire to do Shiny Rayquaza. I guess we could attach it to the other Shiny Rayquaza, uh, but I, I really want to hit two Lightning Energies for this guy. Alright, so there is Double Lightning. Alright, so we're good to go. We can Magnetic Circuit. We take the first knockout here, which is really, really good. Uh, we got a Lele next turn, too. So we can grab a Fishman and keep the party going with Shiny Rayquaza. We'll put two on this guy. Come on, computer. Come on, computer. All right, there we go. Put one there. We will retreat into the Shiny Rayquaza. And we'll use that Sky's Judgment for 190. Uh, Ticket a knockout going on a five prize card. So one, two, three. We do take the first knockout, which is fantastic. All right, so there we go. Taking a prize card. Only taking one, though. And there's a rare candy. If we have a Magnezone, we get double Magnezone, maybe, which is not bad. And here comes Big Bad Xerneas Break. All right. But, I mean, we got a Lele. Um, maybe it's a knock. I actually want to put down Rayquaza, not a Lele. Uh, but we really need that Fishman to get more energies back into our hand. 
Maybe we'll just top deck it. Uh, Fisherman, that'd be really nice. So, Ultra Ball, I'm going to score two cards from his hand. Okay. Maybe we'll run him out of Xerneas. That could be another thing as well. He already discarded Super Odd, which could be super for us. And there's another Xerneas Break. And some of these decks only play three Xerneas Breaks. So, that's, this could be good for us. So, Xerneas Break come down. Okay. Wait, oh, never mind. He plays two Super Odd. Uh, okay, so two Super Odd. But, but going to put three Fairies in the deck. So, you got to think he plays like a fourth. Uh, oh, another, another Lele coming down, which means no spot for his Xerneas. Is he going to go for a Guzma here to knock out our Lele? Nope, going to go for Sycamore. I, is he going for deck out here? I don't understand what's happening. Why is he being so aggressive? Like, I'm so confused as what's happening right now. I uh, see Fairy Guard come down, giving that free tree. We see Sycamore discarding the Rescue Stretcher. And now he's got a Stretcher, two Super Odds, has two Zarnies Breaks online. Was he a Choice Band going to do the Lele? And we'll see a knockout. He, I think he's trying to do maximum amount of damage because that's definitely what he's doing right now. Doing 400 damage, not as much as Guardy did last round, but still, it is plenty. All right, so Rangaroo coming up onto our turn. We get a Lightning Energy. Oh, man. I really just want to Lele for Fishman just to guarantee the energy knockout this turn. But then this guy comes up and swings. Um. Hmm. If we Sycamore, all we need is a couple of Lightnings. Will that happen or not? Do we be safe? Put down the Lele. Go for the Fisherman. Take a knockout. Guarantee it this turn. Um, four, five, so let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, he's taking a knockout with the... Okay, I'm just trying to think of all the different options we could do here. I think I am going to put down Shiner Quaza. I'm going to attach a fire energy to it. I think I am going to go for the magnetic circuit and just hope we hit a bunch of lightning energies with this. All right, so put a lightning energy on this guy. We'll Sycamore, discard our hand, draw on seven new cards. And come on, give me two lightnings. And we, ugh, yes, we found double lightning here. So magnetic circuit and a fishman for next turn, which is fantastic. We'll put one on the Shiner Quaza. Put one on the Shiner Quaza. We'll retreat and take a knockout. All right, there we go. Woo! All right, so we'll draw or Sky's Judgment for the knockout, going down to four prize cards. All right, 190 damage, discarding three lightnings, press done, and now we've done dealt with two Xerneas breaks here. We find a Guzma. Um, Guzma's really not that good right now because <laughs> we need to use Fisherman. We we'll probably need to cut all the Guzmas out of the deck. Like, unfortunately, maybe I, I don't know. So Oach Ball, does he have another Xerneas in the deck? Um, we, we've already okay. There's another Xerneas coming to his hand. Okay. But can he find energies for it? So Xerneas coming down. There's a fair energy. There's a max elixir. He's okay, so there, okay, alright, there, huh? There we go. And struck for two. Or uh, for one. So he has three cards left in deck. And there we see a life stream for the knockout. Doing 400 damage. Thank you, Pokemon. Uh we'll send up a Rangaroo. But I'm still feeling fairly comfortable. Feeling good right now. So I'm gonna ult. I can't really ult ball. I can't afford. Um, need to save that. Need to save Pikachu. Okay, so we're going to go for Fishman right here. To put four Lightnings in our hand. Uh, three and a Fire, I think. I think that's what I grab here. Okay. I'm going to Magnetic Circuit, put three on this Rayquaza. And then I'm going to Ultra Ball for another Rayquaza. So there we go. I think that's a good play here. We'll discard. We'll put three on here. So one, two, three. We'll Ultra Ball, discard, and a Guzma. Let's see. I'm going to save a Clement just in case. And there's not another one in our deck. All right. Do we have a Rare Candy in hand? We do not have a Rare Candy in hand. So the Magnet Zone is pretty much useless. I'm going to grab a Lele just to put it in our hand. Uh, that way we can grab a Fishman next turn and take a knockout with Pikachu if we need to. We'll grab that. We will retreat into the Rayquaza. And we'll use that Sky's Judgment one more time. Uh, taking a knockout, going down to three prize cards. So one, two, three. Press done. Uh, we do have enough Clements in the deck that can knock out something. Uh, we get a Bridget. It's not useless. That's useless. Pretty much useless. And here comes Big Bad Xerneas. All right. So let's see what will our opponent do here. There's an EXP share going down to the Rangaroo. We see the Xerneas break. He will take a knockout here. But we got that Pikachu in hand. All right. So we see a DC going down to the Lele. All right, uh, we see an N. Going to end is down to three. Get rid of our Pikachu and our Lele. Oh, man, that's what we really, really needed. There's a Lightning and a Guzma. 
uh, choice band to the Zern, uh, to the Lele. He actually has zero cards in the deck, so we're actually gonna win this game. Oh my goodness gracious! So Cinnabarangaroo owned Archer, and I hope we still take a Pikachu and find a way to deck a knockout. All right, so I think we could just Lele and like Lele try to do a billion damage. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, we won the game. He he ran out of resources, has zero cards left in deck. Uh, so yeah, we're just sick and more, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just trying to dig for Pikachu. Uh, we do not hit the Pikachu, but we'll pass and we'll win the game through deck out. My opponent was so, I don't know why they were so aggressive. Um, but my plan that turn was to actually use a Rangaroo and just try to go, like, attack with a Rangaroo. It would have taken a knockout, so like it would have 6, 79, 10, 11, 12. I've done 120. Uh, but then, like, I don't know what would have been left in his deck if he didn't play so aggressive. But we won against Xerneas Break. I don't know what my opponent was really doing. But, hey, we were in there. If he didn't end, we did have, like, you know, Pikachu. And we had um, we had the Tapu Lele for Fishman to get the energies back into her hand, take a knockout, and use Clement to take the last prize cards as well. So we would have won that game for sure. Um, that turn was very weird. It, it depends. Like I, like I said, I would have psychic with the Ringaroo. And then maybe have used Magnazone, maybe. But then he's down to one prize card. Lele has to swing into our Magnazone. Then we have to find Pikachu. And it would have been really, really interesting to see what would happen. But opponent playing too aggressive and Shiner Quaza taking the game. But we'll see another game with the Shiner Quaza deck here in a second. Hopefully, we get a real victory. All right, guys. All right, so game number three. We're not playing against Fairy. We're not playing any weaknesses. We're playing Psychic and Colors. I can deal with this. I'm happy now. Okay. All right, good. Good, good, good. One match without weakness. Thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Wait for opponent to load it again. Come on, opponent. Don't be scared of shiny Rayquaza. All right, come on. Let's go first. Let's go first. Okay. All right. Let's let's have a good start. Let's have a good start. Like Lele. I mean, I just hope we get turned to Magnazone. Okay. Well, Mulligan. Okay. All right. Oh, he got a Mulligan too. Right, it's a double Mulligan. Ugh. Okay, it's not terrible. Oh, I thought it was a mirror match for a second. <laughs> I was like, what's a mirror match? But then I remember he playing Psychic, so I don't know what was happening in my little head. Okay, all right, but we're, we're fine. We actually have a really good hand. I don't know, I'm not complaining at all. Because we can Ultra Ball, discard Fire Lightning for Lele, Bridget, Magnemite, Rayquaza, Orn Guru. Rare Candy Magnus on turn two, and we're good to go. We're good. We're good. We're in there. We're going to go places. I don't know where. Maybe to IHOP. It's a good place to get breakfast. All right, so let's choose an active Pokemon. But we got the Ultra Ball. Discard Fire to Lightning. Gonna grab Lele for Bridget. Get a bunch of Pokemon out. Be good to go. We're gonna go crazy. Shiny Rayquaza. Proving that Shiny Legends might be a decent set. I I still think it's okay set. I think it's okay. All right, there we go. I had to take a drink break while my opponent was uh, taking a second. All right, look at Halloween cup. Halloween time. Halloween favorite holiday. Favorite holiday. Favorite holiday is ha Halloween. A lot of people like Christmas, but I love Halloween. It's I like the scary stuff. All right, look, opponent, what are you doing here? Come on now. Put down this Pokemon. Let's start the party. Don't slow roll me, man. Come on now. You've already taken a minute of my time. All right, let's go. So a Taurus. I forgot he's going first. All right, so Drampagarp, maybe uh, Garbodor could be really bad. So Psychic to the active. Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. All right, man, Garb is actually like really bad for us, like real bad. All right, so discards a Garb and a Random Receiver. All right, not that Garb. I'm more worried about the the Garbodor Toxin Garbodor. Like, yeah, we play a bunch of tool cards, but so what? I mean, a bunch of item cards, but so what? I don't I don't care about that. I don't, I don't care. We're going to get through this. All right. But let's see what this Ultra Ball gets him. Necrozma GX. That's not a card I think he would grab. Did not expect a Necrozma coming. But I'm fine with that. Okay. There was the Max Luster. Going to put that in Necrozma. Okay. Okay. So it's like you need Necrozma. He's got to have a supporter card. He discarded the Rain Receiver, right? Stretcher. To shovel the guard back in his deck. And I imagine we're going to see a Sycamore here. And I'm fine with the Sycamore for sure. 100% fine with Sycamore. Um, yeah. 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 We're going places, guys. I don't know where. Like I said. Maybe IHOP. I, I love I love IHOP, guys. What's your favorite restaurant? 
Man, it's taking forever for him to shuffle one Pokemon back on the deck. This game might be a long one. All right, so there we go. Garb going to his deck. That's the only Pokemon in there. Yep, I understand. Sycamore. A judge! No! No! <laughs> okay, that's okay. Whatever. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. I was like, man, no, he had a good hand. Then he judged us. And I was like, what? What are you doing, opponent? That's not a sycamore like I thought it was. Did not expect judge coming down. All right. So now we got to see a pass, right? Okay, so max elixir to necrozma. Okay. All right. No prasmatic burst for you turn to, buddy. All right. So pass it our turn. Give me a Oh, Ooh, a magnemite. That works. And we'll play sycamore. Come on. Give me some good stuff here, Pokemon. All right. That's not. Holy cow. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay, stretcher. Okay, we'll keep stretcher in there. Well, I guess I put a lightning on the. Guess we'll press it done. Really, not nothing I want to do with this hand. Not this is a bad hand. This is a terrible hand. Um, we could see a horn attack for sixty, which will knock us out. Then we get stretch the magnemite back into your hand. They could knock us out again, and then we're down to one. We're down to one Pokemon. So we gotta hope the top decks are real. Okay, we gotta hope. Okay, there's a psychic to the active. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. <sighs> Thank you, opponent. My hat fell. My hat fell. Come on, cowboy. Stay on. All right, there's our quasi. Okay, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We found some Pokemon. We're not going to lose straight away. Okay, we're going to see a horn. Please rage. Please rage for 20. I don't know why you would, but just just rage for me, please. Okay, Travis coming down. Fighting Fear Belt to the active. Lovely. Choice Fan to the bench. Lovely. No flowstone. I do not. Okay, so horn attack for 70. Thanks to fighting fear belt. And going down to five prize cards. Alright, so is it a magnemite? We have no choice. On to our turn, we get a oh top deck. Top deck nation. Alright. Put a fire to G there. We'll put down Rayquaza. Yeah, I think we'll put down Rayquaza and just Ultra Ball discard one and two for Lele and just Lele for Sycamore. I think that's the best option we have here. So we'll Lele, Lele for Sycamore. Yep. All right, so grab a Sycamore. We're just going to discard our hand, draw seven cards. Hopefully to hit a Rare Candy, Magnezone, three Lightning Energies. Can the dream live? Uh, It does, actually. Okay, it kind of lives. It doesn't get us exactly what we wanted, but we're really close. So we'll rescue stretcher, put a Pokemon discard pot on our hand. We'll grab a Ma oh, not you, a Magnazone. Thank you for playing. Come on down, Magnazone. Uh, we'll free retreat into the Lele Rare Candy Magnazone. Uh, well, Magnetic Circuit to the bench. Okay, so Magnetic Circuit there, and then I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass for the turn. Right now we have three of the discard pile, so Trash Lunch is not doing too much. Okay. And I'm hoping he attaches a Floatstone to the Strawbush, and we can fight, we can Tool Scrapper, or Field Blower, get rid of this and this, hit two energies, take a knockout, and be good to go. That is the ideal plan. But will it work? I don't know. There's a DC going on to Necrozma. Okay, I don't care about Necrozma. I don't care about Necrozma. There's a Team Rocket's handiwork. Tails and a heads, discarding a fisherman and our Ord Guru. No, our savior, the Monkey King, he is gone now. Uh, we do have a super rod, so we might be able to get him back. All right. <sighs> okay, we win two out of three games here today, guys. That's the question. That's the million dollar question. All right, so horn attack for 70. Hone our turn. So we get a floatstone. So floatstone this guy. Well, floatstone this guy. We'll field blower. Get rid of one and two. This Carmon Flowstone. All right, we'll put down another Shiny Rayquaza, and then we're going to end. I'm just trying to draw as much as we can off this day. We need two energies. So, we're well, Rare Candy, Magnezone. Uh, magnetic Circuit. Put a Lightning on Rayquaza. I guess we'll pass. I mean, hold on, my, my phone vibrated. <laughs> Dang Snapchat. Snapchat, Marky22, Adam. All right. But, um, let's see. What can I want to do this turn? They can maybe, like, attach energy and retreat to Necrozma and Black Ray GX to knock out our Lele. Doesn't seem that good, though. 
Um, ba, 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 ba. how many? How many you have in this car pile? One, two, three, four, five. He's doing a hundred right now. A trash lance. Don't care about that. There's the energy going to the bench to Krasma. What was he? A, a prasmatic burst here? That would actually knock us out. So Sycamore discarding two psychic. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. I mean, right now, it just looks like we're in a Sycamore. Just discard our hand, draw seven new cards, take a knockout, and then we're start going places. We're playing against a, a GX deck that we can one-shot and just win that way. So there's an Eevee coming down. Oh, baby. A Trubbish. Okay. Okay, all right. There's another Horn Attack for 70. So we're still living. Or 60, sorry. We got rid of the Fear Belt. There's a Fire G. Man, you gotta think we're hitting energy here. So I'm gonna put a fighter in this guy. I'm gonna sick him more. We just need to hit a light energy. Just give me one. Whew, that was really close. Alright, so magnetic circuit. Uh, putting a light energy on this bench Rayquaza. We'll retreat. Take a knockout. Alright, so there we go. We're finally going places, guys. There we go. Sky's Judgment for the knockout. Doing 190. Take that Tauros to take three. Take those three energies off that guy. Taking a knockout. Going down to four prize cards. I like that. I like it a lot. So lightning and a end coming to our hand, which is really good because we we can like fishman for four energies, put three on this guy, put a fire energy on this guy, and yeah, there's another trubbish coming down. Like I said, what we really don't need to see is a garbatox and garboder. There's a espion come down. Can this knock us out this turn? Six twelve, and yeah, that okay. He takes a knockout regardless. <gasps> oh no, there he is, the monster. Okay, P oh Pidgeot ex. Oh, baby. Pidgeot EX just hit the field with Mirror Move. Oh, baby. That is going to be our game winner right there. So, send up. Oh, oh. I got this now. I got this. Is this. It does hit for weakness. It does hit for weakness. And we're touching another Lightning. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Pokemon. So, Magnetic Circuit. Lightning here. Uh, Lightning here. Wolf Fishman. For a Fire. And multiple of these. Okay. All right. And what we're going to do is we attach a fire energy to the shiny Quaza. We are going to magnetic circuit. Put one on this guy. One on this guy. One on this guy. And I'm going to... Oh, we already, we already finished this, so we can't Guzma. I think I'm just going to treat and take a knockout with Sky's Judgment. Okay. Yeah, we're going to treat this guy we're gonna sky judgment don't want to play ultra ball any of that kind of stuff don't want him to take a knock on our shiny Rayquaza. is he already taking a knockout if he is then i should have definitely played ultra ball and all that kind of good stuff uh but going out of two prize cards and now he put down a pokemon that's weak to us that's good there's a fisherman and a fire energy coming to our hand how many are in our disc about one two three four five yeah so garbage can't take a knockout right now oh baby oh baby all right but my plan now is the Guzma bring this Pidgeot, Magnezone, clean up the game with a Thunder Blast, doing 200 damage, and I think we're going to be good to go. Here comes S Espeon GX, unless he ends us here. So it's like you go to the active, does he have an end in hand? And no, go to side beam, 430. All righty, and there we go, guys. I mean, we could have used Rayquaza, maybe. I mean, we could almost use Rayquaza right now. But we're going to Guzma, bring me that Pidgeot, we'll send up our Magnezone, and we will Thunder Blast. For the knockout there. No, that's the wrong tech. Thunder Blast for the knockout there. And we'll take the game. Even if he would, if he did put down the Pidgeot, what we could have done was maybe just Guzma up the Garbodor. Um, have still gone for the Thunder Blast play. It's not a bad idea at all. Uh, we only discarded one energy. And we could have knocked out maybe another Garbodor. I think Garbodor only has 100 HP. If I remember correctly, can I see my opponent's deck? I can. Thank you. Uh, it has 100 HP. So we could have knocked it out with just a Magnazone. I don't know. I guess my opponent's playing like... I don't know what they're playing. I guess it's really like a heavy Garbodor deck with like some with Tauros and stuff like that. But we did it, guys. Dollar make you holla. Um, Team Skullgrunt. I don't, I don't know what's happening. One Sycamore. Okay, three Sycamores. Two Handiworks. No. A Team Skullgrunt and a Handiwork. Man, I don't... Man, yep, it's, it's something, all right? But, guys, man, turn one judge. Man, I was like, oh, we're good to go. But we're still good to go. And we took a game with Shiny Requaz and Magnezone. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, we got destroyed by Gardevoir. I mean, it was it was somewhat close, right? Uh, we took down Xerneas Break, and we took down 
Uh, there's Garbodor deck. Yep, we took on Garbodor. Does he even play any floatstones? Nope, he plays four tools. All right, guys, so there we go. But hopefully you joined this edition of Road Tuesday. Hopefully you joined this shiny Rayquaza Magna Zone deck. If you have any suggestions, let me know about the deck and maybe we'll look into it. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.